Hey again, Tekken's right here. Hope you're all doing okay. So this one's gonna be specifically a, a bit shorter than the usual because we're just going to go through two of the simple tools, the text tool and the eraser tool. All right, so everybody should have a good understanding of how the eraser tool works. Works like the brush tool, only that it does the opposite. It erases stuff rather than draws it. So I could choose my options. It gives me different textures, right? Of course, you can change the line type, just like how you can do the brush, thickness and sharp tips, and you can change the shape. You can also do the smoothing of how much you want to erase by, just like the brush. So I'm just going to do something quick, just to show. Okay, here's a rectangle. It's black. I'm just going to use my eraser tool. And just erase some eyes in there, right? And do stuff like that. So that's the eraser tool for you. It's really not that hard to learn, believe me. Next tool is the text tool, which is really straightforward. Here we go. Let's choose a nice size. Choose my color. Say. This is Tekken Zora's Tutorials. Stream. Stream. Tutorial. Right. So that's the text tool for you. You just type. It pretty much works like any other word processing software. Choose your font. Right. You notice that over here I can't really bold or italize. That's because certain of these fonts that I have don't really have the font formats for those. So, kind of like how you'd probably make a bold version and an italicized version. Can't do that there. But you can actually use this perspective tool and edit it any way you want, I guess. So, here's one. Nope, not that one. Okay, I could choose this one. So, you notice I can bold this one now. So, I click bold. Doesn't look much different. Yeah, that one's a horrible example. Let's just go with Arial. Nobody has that. So I got bold. I can bold it. I can italicize it. I can left align it. I can center it. I can left justify. Right? So let's use this as an example. So I put this here. Right. And pretty much straightforward. Right. Left justify justified. Right align center. Left align right. And you can do your italic. It only affects what you highlight. So now I'm just going to use eraser tool and erase it. Okay. So I'm erasing, and it looks like it's going away. I guess that that's good. I guess. Oh wait, it's not going away. What's the problem here? The problem is that these are seen as text layers, right? I don't know if anybody here works with Photoshop, but it's kind of like the same thing where you can't exactly treat it like a bitmap unless you rasterize your type. So here's an example. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to convert this to a regular drawing. And to do that, I choose convert and break apart text layers. Well, for most text, or usually all text, it breaks them apart twice for them to get to that basic layer because first you break apart your sentences it divides each letter so you can actually change each letter individually and then you just go back again drawing convert and break apart text layers so now they're like regular drawings 
and you can use eraser tool and erase them. That's a simple tool. So I guess that's it for today, well for this video at least. We're going to go on to the bucket tool next. And we're going to look more into gradients. So take care. God bless. And Genesis is a really cool read. Especially the first part. One, two, three. Take care.